Hi everybody, doesn't this look so lovely? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own mask and your own eye mask for beautiful glowing skin. To get started, all you need are a few simple household items, tools, and a few simple kitchen ingredients. Um, this can be really simple. I like to have glass bowls, some kind of a way to make tea and to strain my tea, and then a blender, some kind of container with a tight fitting lid, and then a washcloth for the facial. And then the ingredients that we're gonna wanna use, um, this can be as simple as just having basic white kale and clay. I've also like to mix mine with red razool clay. And then I have an herbal blend here that is roses, lavender, and rosemary. I grew all of these in my garden and dried them, but you can also purchase these down in our affiliate links below. We love the products from our affiliates. Um, we do get a small commission from qualifying purchases, but ultimately I make my recommendations because I just love these products. The first thing we're gonna do is work with our raw herbs. So these are gonna be used in two different ways. One, we're gonna make a tea that will act as the fluid base for our mask. And then also we're gonna grind these into a fine powder that can act as an exfoliant. This step is totally um, optional. You can skip it if you like, but it is my favorite part of doing a facial mask. So first I'm gonna use my favorite teapot in the world. I love this thing and I'm gonna make myself a pot of tea. Now using rosemary, um, roses, rosemary and lavender makes it so that you can actually drink this tea, which is really calming and can bring out um, a really radiant complexion from the inside out. Roses really naturally are good for your skin. There's a reason that we use rose water in so many skincare products. And then lavender is really, really relaxing, which can help take some of the stress out of the face. And rosemary can really act um, to enliven and bring that circulation up and through. So now that I've got my teapot filled, I'm gonna fill it with water and then take it over to the stove to boil. We've got our tea all ready. I love this color, just a little green and a little pink. I wish you could smell it through the camera. It's lovely. All right, next up, we're gonna grind these herbs. We just need like a little bit, not even an eighth of a cup into a really fine powder. So I'm starting with about a half a cup of herbs, throw them in the blender. I'm just gonna pulse these for a second. That should have been super fun to listen to. And take a look, you can still see there's some big chunks in here. So I'm gonna grind this just a little bit more. My skin is a little delicate, so I like a really fine exfoliant. This smells amazing. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. My whole kitchen just smells great right now. So for the clay, like I said, it can be just as simple as white kale and clay, but if you wanna get a little more fancy, you can use red clay or green clay. So here I'm gonna do one part uh, white clay, one part red clay, and then I'm gonna add in my exfoliating powder. I'm gonna start with just a little bit and then after I do this mask, I'll see if I like it, if it uh, is exfoliating enough or if I want a little more. It's best to start with a little exfoliant and work your way up and add to it instead of starting with too much. And then because I love poppy seeds and these are just a really nice exfoliant for the face. So keep in mind when you're exfoliating your face, you do not want to use salt, you don't want to use sugar. These are way too abrasive on our delicate skin. Poppy seeds and ground herbs are like really all that you need. Now that we have all of the ingredients, we're just going to stir it up until it's a nice, even consistency. And this will keep in my counter or in my closet for years. So there's no need to add any fluid. 
One of the problems with having um, your masks already mixed with the fluid is that's when we're gonna have to start using a lot of chemicals and preservatives. Keeping it in its dry form, it will last forever. So once you have it all mixed up, you can add it right into your container with a lid. And that's all we have to do for our dried clay. For our facial toner, really all we're going to use is the straight tea, um, but I'm also going to use this particularly today as a base for my facial clay. So when I'm doing this in the kitchen, I actually will just do, um, like I'll grab a little scoop in my hand, actually when I'm doing this in my bathroom, and then I add just a little bit of water to it right away, or I might squeeze a little cotton ball of water into my hand. This is almost a perfect amount for a mask. But today, we're going to mix it into the bowl. And you wanna have a nice mud consistency, not too thick, not too watery. But the nice thing here is you can really customize this to be exactly as thick or as thin as you like. Oh, look at that, that's so beautiful. I'm gonna do just a little bit more fluid. All right, amazing, you guys. I can't wait to smear this on my face. But first, we have to get ready for our eye mask. Three simple ingredients. It is turmeric, black coffee, more or less in equal proportions. We don't have to be exact. Again, we're gonna wanna mix that up. And this will, just like the face mask, store in your cupboard for as long as you want it to. Ideally, you want to use some kind of organic coffee without any chemicals. So now that we have our eye mask, we're actually going to start getting ready for the facial part of this. So I have my eye mask here and I have my facial mask here. And then here is a little bit of my herbal tea. I like it to call it my beauty. I'm going to dip just a little cotton ball into the tea and dampen my face first because the mask will go on a little smoother onto damp skin. Next, I'm gonna take just a tiny, tiny little scoop of my eye powder and I am going to mix it with a very, very tiny amount of honey. And I'm gonna mix this right into my hand. And this is the part that starts to get Interesting, keep in mind, turmeric will stain everything yellow, everything. So that little part on my counter is gonna take me a minute to get that worked, uh, get that cleaned up. Let's see, it's a little thick. I'm gonna add just a little bit more honey. All right, so we're starting to get a nice thick uh, paste here. So when applying under your eyes, keep in mind, this skin is very, very delicate and the coffee grounds are coarse. So you wanna think of more like putting it on than rubbing it in. It's more about getting a nice thick paste than um, like grinding it into your skin. So once you have your paste, you're just gonna start to put it under your eyes. Just like this, simple, simple padding. Make sure to get all the areas that have dark circles. You can get pretty close to your under eyelid, but not all the way up in there. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you can blink without your eyelids sticking together, especially since this is honey. And honey will start to melt and run down your face, which is really um, quite fun. If you have kids in the house, you will startle them. So now that you look like a football player, um, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll get started with the second part of the mask. Now that I have my eye mask on, I'm gonna do the rest of my facial and put this nice, beautiful clay on, nice and even. You don't have to be super um, intense about how careful you are, just a nice thick layer of clay. So you can use the beauty blend if you like. You could also use milk as your base. That's a lot more moisturizing. You could try honey as your base for your facial. That's the most moisturizing you're gonna get. 
And then just plain water is also, you know, the active ingredient that they all have in common. So I'm a big fan of just using water on your face, but if you can use a little tea for your beauty, even better. Now that my mask is all dried, it took about five to 10 minutes. You'll notice the mask under my eyes didn't dry because I used honey and there's no clay in there, so it's still really wet. But the rest of the mask is all dried. So I'm gonna wash it off. You could just use like a washcloth with hot water, but since I have my tea made, I'm actually going to soak my washcloth in the tea and use this to wash the mask off. Because if I can find a way to get herbs into my skin, I sure try. All right, so slightly damp, but really, really warm washcloth right over the face. And then you're gonna wanna just allow the wetness to moisten your mask before you try to take it off. That'll help reduce any um, additional exfoliation that you're not looking for. Look at this. You guys, this will stain your towels. Don't use white. This was originally a white towel that I used on my facial. Also, you're probably gonna wanna do this in your kitchen sink, not your bathroom sink, because this will clog your sink and your husband will be really mad at your plumbing bills. So as you wash your mask off, All right, all done. Next, we'll uh, move on to our toner. To finish up our facial, now we're going to apply a facial toner and then we're gonna do a little bit of facial oil. So for our facial toner, I'm gonna use just a little bit of our tea blend, not a ton, I'm gonna spill it all over the counter. And then here I have some aloe ice cubes. This is an aloe that we grew ourselves and then harvested and blended. You can check out um, one of our other videos for more information on harvesting aloe. But if you get some of the, uh, if you get some pure aloe online, that will work just as well. Or you can just use the beauty. So we're gonna let this mix together. My tea is hot and my ice cube is cold. So it will take just a minute. And while this is going, so if you wanna, this will stay good in your fridge for three to five days. This is a fresh food product. It doesn't stay good long. So it's really important that you use it fast. Um, if you keep it on your counter, you've only got one or two days. It's gonna really get funky quickly. If you wanna preserve your toner, you can actually get these little um, uh, glass bottles, one with a atom, atomizer top that will spray and then just make sure to add 20% uh, Everclear to however much fluid you have, and that will keep your product good for at least a couple of months, but I would still do it pretty quickly. So once your toner is all used, all we need is like a cotton ball or some kind of a facial pad, get it nice and mixed up and just apply quickly. And our final step is going to be doing the facial oil. So I have this bottle here. I just put like four pumps of oil into my hand, a little bit of water. If I'm in, uh, in my bathroom, I just get my hands wet, a couple of drips, rub it around my hands, get it on the back of the hands because they're always dry and just like this. And done. If you wanna know what I do every day, that's it. I get my hands wet, I put four pumps of oil, and I rub my face. Um, in another video, I'll actually show you how I do my own facial oil, but any base oil is great. You can use coconut oil or jojoba oil. Um, I like to do a nice little blend that includes these same herbs so I get like a nice line of products that is all the same. If you like this video, head over to our website, wiselyliving.media for more great content and courses just like this one.